I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation with trigonometric functions. And we're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, <clears throat> y equals, it's a fraction here, negative 2x squared minus 5 over cosine of 2x to the third power. Okay. So what we want to do first here is we're going to apply right, the quotient rule. Okay, So we're going to apply the quotient rule. We're going to take the derivative here. So we're going to have uh, dy right over here, dy dx. Okay, And the quotient rule states, okay, we need to take the denominator, okay, denominator cosine of 2x to the third, right? We put that parentheses, times the derivative of the numerator. Now, the derivative of the numerator. <clears throat> we're using power rule here. 2 comes down to the negative 2 up front, so we have negative 4 right there. Okay, and then uh, the uh, keep the x, the x goes down by 1. And then the derivative of 5, or negative 5 is 0, so it's kind of leave it right there. Minus, okay, minus now we have to take the numerator, so subtract the numerator, negative 2x squared minus 5 times. The derivative of the denominator. Now this one's a little tricky because the denominator, we're going to use the chain rule for that derivative. The derivative of cosine is a so the multiplication here, a negative sine, um, and we keep the inside the same, 2x to the third power. But then we need to multiply that by the derivative of the inside, okay, derivative of our inside, 2x to the third power. The derivative of that would be 3 comes down, we have 6x squared. All of that is over the denominator squared. So all of that's over cosine of 2x to the third. All of that's going to be squared. Okay? So now let's go do a little bit of simplification. Okay? I'm not going to do too much, but we're going to get something simplified. So what I'm going to do here <clears throat> is I'm going to bring out the negative 4x out front all right, of this left hand side. So the negative 4x cosine of 2x to the third power. All right. Now, we see the negative here and this negative, and the negative from the side and the negative there, so we know it's going to switch to a positive, okay? And then I'm just going to bring this 6x squared out front, 6x squared, and I'm going to leave the rest the same, negative 2x squared minus 5 times the sine of 2x to the third power, okay? All of that's going to be over our denominator. Now we can rewrite it instead of it squared like that. It'd be like this. Cosine, my marker stays there. Cosine squared, right? That square is really a better notation. shows it right there. Of 2x to the third power. And there we have a final answer. So let's recap. We're given y equals a negative 2x squared minus 5 over the cosine of 2x to the third power. We have to apply the quotient rule and some chain rule going on there. We take the derivative, take the derivative. We have the denominator here times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. Now this denominator, right, we were using the uh, chain rule to get the derivative of the denominator. All of that's going to be over the denominator squared. Okay? So at this point we have taken the derivative. We just need to do some simplification. Um, it's up to you how much you want to simplify. I'm fine. For right now, what you know, how much we simplify here? Uh, but I just brought the negative four x out front, and then this negative sign, a negative in front of the sign, uh, made this minus here become positive, and the six x squared came out front, giving us again our final answer of negative four x cosine of two x to the third power plus six x squared times a negative two x squared minus five times sine of two x to the third power, all over cosine squared two x to the third.